Hey guys, we're back with a new episode in our Journeyman Save. Let's look at the highlights from our match against Rostock. Long throw in, and Sam, our midfielder, gets that little flick in. Very nice. That came in the 16th minute. We make it stand up, out shooting them 16 to 11, controlling 60% of the possession. Not much in the way of highlights there, but it was a 1-0 clean sheet victory catching you up from last episode uh let's see we had a one nil loss to holstein keel uh, they did have a player sent off right before the half scored a man down and we were just never able to threaten uh, we had a surprising 2-2 draw with borussia dortmund uh, they had a brace from morente in the first 11 minutes uh, Jack Hunter got us on the board in the 26th minute, and Ricardo Vaz makes his debut with a game-tying goal in the 88th minute. And then against, uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. I think we just call them SVG. We had a 1-1 draw there. As Aslani with the goal in the 72nd minute, they came right back and equalized. We held on at that point. Then we had a home win in front of 49,000 fans, 3-0 over KSC. Neil Coley, Robert Cernan, and Lofty Jabnoon with the goals. And against Rostock, as we just saw, uh, Bubakar Sam with the goal in the 1-0 victory. So something that we haven't seen a lot of, but we have back-to-back -back clean sheets. Taking a look at the competition, we've climbed as high as fourth sitting on 15 points even games with most of the league and we also have a plus four goal differential outside of Borussia Dortmund and Bayern uh, pretty much in line with everybody else and on a point tally we're doing pretty good four wins three draws two defeats uh, in those nine matches and we are playing uh, Dynamo Dresden. I think it's Dynamo Dresden. Might just be Dresden. Maybe I have. Yeah, it's just Dresden. No, it is Dynamo Dresden. Thought I'd remembered that. Wasn't that from a Loki Doki save, maybe? Dynamo Dresden. Maybe I'm getting them confused with somebody else. Anyway, let's get, take a look at the starting lineups for that. Well, here is who we're going with today. Heron Basic in the goal. Bruger and Sahin on the wings. At the, on the back line, Gunderson and Stover going to be our center backs, and we have an issue going on there. Uh, Ponovic is going to get a start on the left. Uh, Jopic is on the right. Tak Takahashi in the middle. Sam in the number 10, and Hunter and Cernan up top. As Lonnie will be on the bench. Uh, Rib Richmond Abbas, uh, one of our team leaders is injured injured himself lifting weights and he will be out for three to four weeks and our star center back william gislaine uh, also tore an abdominal muscle uh, in weight training two months so we are going to have a makeshift back line luckily both of these guys have started i want to say let's just kind of look down here uh ponovich has played three three games and Morena has started twice. So that uh, that's the club we're going to put out today. We do need some match sharpness from Stover. Only way to get it is to go play. What a packed stadium. This is a home match, so this is our home stadium. I haven't paid a lot of attention. What man, it's, it's packed to the gills, I believe. All right, we're in the red or black so we are the home side so this is our home stadium i don't think i've pointed it out on camera yet and i have i you know i don't pay a lot of attention to that kind of stuff big counter opportunity stover slides out on defense good tackle away knocking the ball out of play to end the attack let's uh let's encourage the entire team and they are coming out, putting a lot of pressure on us. Can Yopet get there? He is there. Him and Cernan cross paths. He lays it off. Takahashi 
There it is. Oh, he was looking near post, Paul Nobich, and the, I thought he had a shot to get it in there. Well, they go hard this time into the box because of the pressure. So team is there to grab that rebound, and he's on a big attack run. Lays it back. Gives us a chance to kind of set our line. There's a header out. Takahashi a little out of position to get the ball. Oh, and there we go. We pick up the interception. And see if we can do anything with it with our highlight. Ponovich down to the touchline. And it's Jack Hunter with the fifth goal of the season as he just puts a toe on it and taps it in at the near post. Easy as you please, and we are up 1-0. A bruised shin for Pavnovich. Didn't look to hinder him too much there. And a header is on target, but it goes off the crossbar and out for a goal kick. We're letting a lot of potential goals get away from us, aren't we? Oh, uh, Pavnovich. Oh, taken down in the box. It's a penalty. Or was Yopek the one with the foul? Checking for the penalty. And we are given the penalty. It's going to be Sam taking it. He lines it up and slots it home. Nice as you like. And that's our his second of the season. Our second of the game. And we have a 2-0 advantage here in the 12th minute. That is good. I do want to take a look at Sam. Penalty taking is an 11. Okay, I'm not sure that's the best on the team, but it was good enough to step up and take it there. Two goals and assist from some of our attackers there. Sarant. Oh, they were. He, Hunter was looking for a quick. Play through to Sam, who was making a charge through the middle. Ooh, that was uh, that was dangerous. A little play back to the keeper, right after he had missed it, and it went off the woodwork. A oh, hunter with a nice turn on that, and it gets bounced back by the defense. I'm gonna call that an OLP special in honor of uh, old lady plays. Uh, yeah, I just don't know. I just don't remember seeing that many balls off defenders' legs in previous versions. It could just be a graphical thing, too. I, I don't know. Cernan gets that one knocked away, and it goes over the touchline for a corner. Not sure who hit that one, but they got under it too much. Still putting pressure on. Ruger brings it across. That was too easy. Should have gone back post. Should have been looking back this side over here. Oh, that's... Oh, man. We've had so many of those crosses that look like they're just going to be open goal opportunities. Let's praise him here. Ruger, deep throw. Flick on header, and it's Jopik with the second goal of the season as he has come back from injury. Don't recall, don't, don't didn't uh, use words. Didn't see who got the header. It was Sam. Sam got the flick on header, and it's now 3 0. Got to be happy with that. Looking pretty solid today. Heron Bosick comes out and makes the stop on that one. Kicks it right to the other team. Some good ball movement there. 
We keep them pressed back a little bit, and there's the interception. But we give it away again. Come on, boys. Pressure makes them play it all the way back into their box. All right, we can do better here. Yopek through. Oh, and what a finish by Bubakar Sam, his third of the season. What a finish. Oh, that was beautiful. Where's Sam? He's right here making the run. Making a run through the middle. Uh, just cuts back, drifts back over to the left. Finds some space. What a finish. And it's 4-0, 28th minute. Uh, a few slight injuries. Yeah, go ahead and sub him off if uh, if we need to. Can, can he even play that position? Not positive he can play over there. As Lonnie. Attacking mid. I think. Let's do this. Let's do that. We'll drop Hunter back onto that wing. And bring Aslani up top. There we go. I'm also going to drop off to positive. Just to kind of save some energy. Sam with the steal. He's looking for somebody. Oh, he just dropped it off. Aslani makes a nice attempt with the ball. Can't sneak it in past the keeper. Looks like we'll slide into halftime. Nursing a 4-0 advantage. Looking to maybe make it five. And it was dangerously close. So, looking good so far. We've got an XG of 3.3 .3 to 0.11. Uh, let's, uh, let's point the finger. Don't get complacent. Keep focused. Zhao Zing, Zing I think, is uh, close to pronunciation. It's my attempt, at least. Sahin on a yellow. He actually got ejected uh, when he was on international duty. We had a two-week international break. And uh, he got sent off in the international game, so he's got a, a one-game international ban coming up. How does that work? If you have, if you're banned for an international game, you actually have to be on the squad to then have the ban take effect. If they don't call you up for that match, it doesn't count, does it? I don't know the answer to that. Let me know in the comments if you know. We worked the ball around a little bit there. Got a nice touch on the ball, but not enough power to threaten the keeper there. All right, good deflection. Finding some space to get that ball out. Oh, look at the quick passing right up into their box. And Sam slots it in. Bubakar Sam, his fourth of the season, and we're up 5-0. All right, let's go ahead and uh, we made one sub for Pobnovich. Let's bring on, um, let's bring him on, and he's right-footed, so we'll make him an inverted winger on support. That was a very, very nice counterattack. Got to be happy with that. Pushing a 4XG today. Oh, actually a good save. Just too much pressure. First goal of the season for Yemeljanov, I think. Again, most of these are just guesses by me. That's all I can do. All I can do. Oh, there was a good touch by Aslani, but it bounces off the woodwork. We are going to praise the entire team. Takahashi, Quang, he puts a shot on target. Knocked away.
Uh, another header just goes over the bar. They need to do a little bit better job. At least in that aspect of the game. I mean, saying they need to do a better job at 5-1, probably a little harsh. And I'll agree with that. Oh, as Lonnie. Good. He really fought through that ball. Good pass on, but didn't really do anything with it. There's our young wonder kid. Reverses field. Drop in pass. And as Lonnie on target again, we continue to challenge their keeper. And he is doing a pretty strong job in keeping us out of the net on some of these big chances. 28 shots, 16 on target. We're almost 4 XG higher, which is crazy town. Complete crazy town. Oh, I thought maybe there was going to be a penalty flag there. Like in the NFL, they throw the yellow flag. Uh, I thought there was going to possibly be a penalty in the box there. Big save by Heron Bossett. Let's praise him some more. All right, they're bringing it up. Can our defense stay strong? Oh, that was weak sauce. Sahin needed to do a better job defensively there. When they, I mean, that was a, that's a long cross and a header from the edge of the box. Aaron Bosick, boy, that was pathetic. I don't think he, he, he didn't even look like he thought they were going to try anything there. And I can't blame him. I mean, that's, oh my God, really? Um, all right, we're going to have to go up to attacking, and we are going to have to, we're going to give the old focus shout here. Can I pull anybody off? Is there anybody that's really, I mean, Sahin's had a couple. Look at that, bossing the midfield. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pull him off and bring on uh, Delu. Now, Delu is a center back, so we will switch him over with Gunderson, and that'll work for me. He's only got 10 passing, so you know what? We're going to change him to a central defender on defend. And I want to give a shout once that option comes back up. Don't need to see that crap again. And let's, uh, let's tell him to focus. Oh, what a save by Esway. That looked like it was going right inside the post. And is that going to be a card or just the foul? Just, just uh, the foul. That's, that's okay. I can live with that. Oh, nice drop-in pass. First touch. Cer Cernan makes the play. We see flares in the stands again. Are there flares a lot in Germany? If you know, let me know. We saw a lot of those in the Ukraine. Usually four or five a match, especially when we were doing well. But we have let them get back into this one. And I am a little nervous. Oh, there's a nice move by Cernan. He finally picks up another goal, his second of the season. We've got another flare sighting, and it's 6-3 in the 82nd minute. In front of a packed house, it would appear. All right, you know what? I've got to look. I've got to try just because. Just because I'm being difficult. All right, Takahashi, let's, can we bring on Kohli? No. All right, so it is three substitutions. I did get that right. I did read. I did pay attention.
don't mind the more subs, but you know that that is what it is. But the three more on the bench, you guys knew what I meant. They're playing three up top. We're really, you know, huh? excuse me. I had a long conference call today for work. I am exhausted. I actually have to make a work call after I finish this match. We're not working on Fridays uh, right now. Um, well, I work half day every other Friday. And then on the off Friday, we have a conference call. So that's our scale back for COVID. God, another blistering shot trying to kill people in the box. Yopek, back door. No, S Wine makes a nice save. Four minutes of stoppage time. We are into the 92nd minute. Yopek. Oh, good drop in. Uh, he should again he should have went back post. What are you guys doing? Less than a minute left in this match, I believe. They get a counter opportunity. Crossing midfield. Are we gonna get a whistle? Yes, there it is. It's over six to three. An exciting affair. Uh, looks like, let's see. Well, everybody played very well. Uh, Yopek with a 9 1. Huang Hyun with a 6 9. 6 7 by Stover on the low side. 5.78 on the XG. And we got six goals. So that was pretty much right where you would want to be. And a great win. I'd like our defense to be a little more solid, but that jumps us all the way up into second. Let's finish the day. There might be some late matches going on. Get a good picture of where we're at. We have five matches in a row without a loss. That's strong. There we go. That gets us out of the day. Checking out the competition. So Leipzig does get back in front of us on 19 points. We're only three back of Bayern. We're not going to catch them. There's no chance in hell. They manhandled us the first time around. So we're going to be lucky to stay in this in this pack, but we are really setting ourselves up for a good run. We will we shouldn't be relegated, and we've got a five point cushion over mid table. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Didn't we play Bayern? No. Yeah, we played them. They, they beat us. Actually, 3-1 was not as bad as I expected in that match. So, now who's the other club? Okay, that's Bayern Munich. So who's this? Oh, Leverkusen. Okay. Still learning the teams. Union Berlin. I actually was doing a solo save FM20 my, uh, for me with Union Berlin, and we were doing really well. Uh, but let's see, we've got Schalke coming up, Union Berlin, uh, Leverkusen, Bochum. Tell you what, let's come back and uh, let's do one more match. If I stop here, then we do have a winter break. But I'd like to come back for Bayern here because we missed them the first time around. Maybe we just do highlights there. Uh I think I want to be back highlights for Bochum because that was a team that I was thinking about going after their job had it come open. So if we're going to do that, let's do uh, let's do Freiburg highlights and Schalke. That'll be the match next match. We'll only get a handful of games, and then we'll look at uh, Bochum and Bayern in the following episode. So uh, anyway. Let me know what you guys think. That was a big one. Let's look at the squad real quick. You know, you guys like to keep track of goals and whatnot. So Jack Hunter, five and nine, is looking good. Aslani, four and eight, has fallen off the pace, uh, but still starting a lot. Uh, four and eight for Sam. He's really gotten hot lately. Three and eleven for Takahashi, but he's got four assists. Uh, Yopek, two goals, four assists as well. So everybody's right in line with what they should be doing. Uh, you know what, Dero, we can hide him. 
about hide the ones not at club? There we go. And uh, hopefully we get uh, Gizlane and uh, Abbas back soon. We'll see. Hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in a couple of days for the next episode. Take care. Bye.